still alive, are we? Well, I'll see you in hell as well. Come in, we got most of the hostiles. We need backup. Negative Delta 6, resources stretch too thin in your area. Go to Kennedy. Military personnel are on standby. Fuck, fuck, Delta, regroup. Ah, fuck. One got me. You okay, man? Oh, man. Fucker got me good. Damn, I think they stopped coming. Alright, man, we gotta get to Kennedy. Ramirez, Garrett got hit. Patch him up. Moving in five. This is not a test. Repeat, this is not a test. Call 911 for immediate response. The Center for Disease Control is reporting the outbreak of a new virus strain that is causing the infected to become extremely vicious and to exhibit cannibalistic tendencies. If your power goes out, remain calm. This is getting bad. Dr. Thompson, how is it coming along? Not good. I don't even know what it is. Its genetics are like something I've never seen before. We've ran countless tests. It isn't a bacterium. Maybe it's a virus. I'm not positive. I need more time. Well, you better work faster. More and more of the Haram population is becoming infected. Sir, we have a problem. <laughs> We gotta get off the streets. Our ammo is running low. Garrett is injured. We'll be fucked in a few seconds. There's an outpost a few blocks from here. If we get a move on, we can reach it before the situation gets worse. We can't make it. It's dangerous at night. Our flanks aren't covered, and we can't even see for shit. No, we keep moving. We have orders, John, and I'm not disobeying a direct order. The outpost should have some medical supplies. We'll get Garrett patched up, and we'll wait for Don to move out again. Dude, I ain't about to die out here. <laughs> oh. I think John's right. If we don't get off the street, we'll die anyway. I'd rather bleed out than get torn apart by those things. Fuck. You know what? Fine. Let Garrett bleed out. You guys want to stop? Fine. We'll set up camp somewhere safe for the night. Hey, Garrett. You good to walk, man? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Let's get the hell out of here. Anyone want beef for Avioli? I'll trade you. Beef stew? Nah, wasn't really a fan. 
<sighs> what about some chicken chunks? Chicken chunks? Hell yeah, my favorite. Oh, hell yeah. Here you go. Guys, I'm gonna need your maps. I'll mark all the outposts and rally points. Have you gotten contact with HQ? What's the plan? Well, new orders from the top. Gotta get some laboratory and rescue a Dr. Thompson. Apparently he's working on the cure. Huh. I highly doubt that shit will work. What about the previous orders? Are we just gonna leave these civilians to die? Affirmative. Civilian targets aren't a priority. The doctor is. That's fucked, man. We can't just leave these people to die. Enough. Orders are orders. Get some sleep. We're moving out of 0600. Fuck man, turn off the light, they're attracted to it. Yeah, we better not attract any of them. Garrett is still in critical condition. So, what was it? What? What did you dream about? It's just... Those damn things were killing. What exactly are they? I don't know, but they got Garrett pretty well. He's looking really weak. You think they have some humanity left in them? I mean, even a little bit? Yeah, wouldn't dwell on it. I just hope it doesn't spread back home. I've got a family back there, you know? Yeah, me too. I gotta stop this shit, man. But how? Is it airborne? If so, do we already have it? Fuck, man. I don't know. It's been three days so far and it's all just a big shitstorm. Get some sleep. Try not to think about it. we got a long day ahead of us. Hey man, you heard of this one? You know those coin machines that knocks? They just suddenly stop working. Doesn't make any sense. What? I don't get it. Sense? Yeah? Doesn't make any sense? Oh! <laughs> I get it now. John, wake up. What's your tally? Huh? Yeah. Just give me a minute. Just woke up. We don't have all fucking day here. What's your tally? Alright. I got two mags, three clips, a couple MREs, and a med kit. Yep, that's all I got. Okay, we have enough to make it to the outpost. We need to get a move on. Don't want to get stuck out in the dark again. Shit! 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 No! This can't be! There's no fucking way! Sir, are you okay? Garrett, give him a moment. Ramirez, not to interrupt you, but there's something you're gonna want to see. What? Yeah, John, it's a dead guy. No, look closer. Bullet wound, left lung. Whatever did this wasn't infected. Good fine. Okay, boys, watch each other six. We're not alone. Ramirez, I think we should get out of here. I have a bad feeling about this. Not your position to decide, Corporal. Set up camp, guys. Head out tomorrow. It's been a bad day. Commander, do we still have teams on the field? Seven teams. Only heard back from four. Any word from the SEALs? Last time we made contact with them, they were at Toronto Outpost. Sad to say, that was a week ago. Comms went dark about two days ago. What about Delta-6? One second. Delta-6, what is your status? Have you made contact? Over. In position at Outpost Kennedy. Well, what's left of it. Situation is getting worse, sir. We've got it one injured and we're low on munitions. What's our orders? Get to Baranto. It's a medical facility. There's a doctor there. His name is Tyler Richmond. 
He has a profound background in the medical field. A John Doe with the Red Cross has volunteered to help people out with the virus. Last we heard from SEAL Team 3, Operation Bronto, the medical facility is full of infected and he is stuck on the third floor medical wing. He was able to lock down the wing, but the power will go out eventually. Once it does, the doors will come open. SEAL Team 3 has gone dark and God knows what has happened there. Last contact was a week ago. So get a move on. Mad Dog out. Oh my god, holy shit, man. It's hot as balls out here. Man, I'll give anything for a cold one. This guy's gonna get us killed. What are you talking about? We're still alive, aren't we? At this rate, we won't be for much longer. I'm just hoping we all make it home in one piece. Don't we all, Private? So what are we talking about over here? Well... John here thinks we're all gonna die under your orders. Is this so? You think you can do better? Is that a question? I know I could do better. If I were in charge, we'd probably already be in Bronto. Why don't you trust me? All I'm doing is following orders from command. Because you're cocky. And do everything opposite to what I suggest. Which is just gonna get us killed. You're second in command. Know your place. I'm the one in charge here. What I say, you do. Got it, smartass? Delta-6! We have heat signatures approaching your location. Advise you get the fuck out of there. Now! Fuck, how many? Uh, over 50. We can't take them. Let's get moving. Keep moving. Just a few more blocks. Guys, help, I'm stuck. Ramirez! Shit, keep going, we're almost there. Not leaving you. Here, let me help you up. John, thank God. I thought you guys would left me. Thank God, we made it. Thought we were goners. But what about John and Jonathan? They fell behind, probably dead. Here, help me move this. Sir, sir, it's John, and he is Jonathan. They're alive. Impossible, I saw them fall behind. Help me with this door. Come on, there's a building right up here. Guys, get in here, hurry it up. Let me get an ammo count. You piece of shit! Oh, you fucking coward. God damn it! John! Dude, calm down. You left Jonathan to die, you asshole. If you don't like how I'm running things, fine. Just leave. Come on, Ramirez. You saved my life. I don't care. He's unpredictable. Can't risk him being a part of this operation. John, wait up. What are you doing, Jonathan? Go back. Listen, you saved me back there. It might not seem a lot to you, but if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here. I can handle myself, Private. Go back, you're safer with them. I'd rather die fighting by your side than that asshole back there. Now, what's the plan? Well, my map has all the safe zones and rally points. First, we've got to find a place to stay for the night. It's getting dark. Here, this place looks good. Ugh, shit, it's locked. Excuse me? Wait, what are you doing? I grew up in London. Not gonna grow up there without learning how to break into houses and jack cars. Good thinking. So, why'd you join up? Man, why does it even matter? If we're gonna cover each other's backs, we gotta know a little bit about each other. Yeah, I guess you're right. Like I said before, I grew up in London. Never really had a family. Mother was a prostitute. Never even got to meet my father. My older brother took me in, 
took care of me when mum hit us. He, uh, he died. Back in 07. Gang shootout. Cops didn't even bother to investigate. I joined up because, honestly, I wanted to die, but didn't have the balls to take my own life. Then, then I met you guys, and found purpose. Damn, man. That's rough. Sorry I asked. It's fine. Like I said, you guys are the only family I got. And now it's just you and me. Yeah, I, I get it. Get some sleep. I'll take first watch. <laughs>